think of the tiny puck mopeds and you may find yourself uninspired. Don't be, they're an absolute riot to own and ride, you buy them for fun, not performance. For Malcolm Wright, accepting a coast-to-coast -coast challenge for charity, on mopeds, a few years back showed him just what a laugh these little charmers could be and led to him buying a string of puck mopeds. It went down so well, that several of us decided that it was a splendid idea and organized a rerun that September, though in fancy dress Malcolm recalls. eBay was hammered by us lot trying to buy old mopeds that we could do it on. As you do, I decided to kit it up before the ride. That's when the puck bug really took hold and I haven't stopped building them since. After buying the first for a mere 120 pounds, came another, and another and then to this one, a 1978 Puck Max S. The engine on it has been upgraded with a high compression head, 17mm Amal carb, DMP race crank, 70cc Athena reed valve, HPI Kevlar race clutch and a homoid PSRP6 exhaust. With the 1642 gearing it'll reach the dizzy heights of a 50 miles per hour max speed, which is more than enough with the brakes, or lack of them anyway. The suspension has been upgraded too, with the rear getting a pair of stiffer MKX shocks and the forks have been braced with PBR race.